very much. Well, it could soon be illegal to sell toy guns to kids in Hawaii. Today, a joint House and Senate proposal making it illegal to sell toy guns to anyone under 18 years old goes before a Senate committee. Now, the controversial measure has already gained national attention and received criticism for taking concerns about gun violence too far. And today, we're joined by the principal who helped pioneer this legislation. His name is Michael Hirano uh, of Washington Middle School. He's the principal, and thank you for joining us here today, Mr. Hirano. Thank you. Now, you're, you've had firsthand experience with the effect of toy guns at your school. Okay. I guess it's been a problem for your, uh, your school. What made you push for this legislation? Well, there is that zero tolerance policy for students that bring these guns where they'll be suspended for a year from school. That has a tremendous impact on their education. Um, we do provide alternate education and alternate counseling for them, but it's not the same as them coming to school. So if we can um, have a bill that will um, not allow store earners to sell these types of guns to uh, students, they'll be less likely to bring them on campus and then be suspended. Now, critics of, of this say that you're essentially taking over the rights that should be reserved to parents, that parents should be kind of regulating what their kids buy and what they bring to school or what they, you know, they play with. Mm -hmm. So how do you respond to that? And ordinarily that would be true, although I think that parents do need some help um, when it comes to items like this because a, a student, our student, went into a store and purchased this without parent permission. Mm -hmm. And how old is he? He was uh, 12 at okay. the time. So again, it's um, a concern for us that students can just go into a store and pick this up. And our school is surrounded by these little stores that may be selling these types of items. Mm -hmm. Now, have you? I understand that your school has a zero tolerance policy where if a kid brings in a toy gun like this, he gets suspended for a year from school. Have you pushed to have that the, the zero tolerance policy changed at all? Um, have, have you tried to? Is that something that's that's going to stay for for a while? Is that? Right. The zero tolerance policy is, is a good one. You know, following Columbine, everything has changed for schools in, in trying to maintain that safe learning environment for our students. Um, we try to communicate to our parents and our students the severity of bringing items like this. We, we reinforce it all the time. It's unfortunate that there are still students that will, um, will do this, and then they get caught in that policy. Now, do you expect the bill to, uh, to pass and become Well, I, I understand law? that there's some controversy around it. Um, I'm glad that there's a dialogue that's being conducted on it. You know, as an educator, to me, it is important that we um, be able to control this kind of uh, sales to our students. Well, Mr. Hono, thanks for joining us here this morning and uh, very informative as well. And, of course, you could see this interview again on our website, kitv.com slash this morning. We'll post that uh, interview for you at around 8.30.